In parts one and two of this video series, you've learned how the DBS Chief Investment Officer's barbell strategy is different from a regular balanced portfolio. In this third and final video, we'll see how the barbell strategy has stood the test of time. To validate that our barbell strategy is resilient, we've gone back to past periods of heightened volatility. Let's first zoom in on 2008's Great Financial Crisis. While all stock portfolios bled during the September 08 to February 09 period, it's undeniable that the barbell portfolio suffered far less. Even as the benchmark equity index plummeted 43%, the barbell portfolio fell just 14%, a drop most of us can stomach. But the barbell strategy doesn't just provide resilience, it also delivers superior returns. That's if, of course, investors can steel themselves to avoid selling off when markets look rough. This brings us back to Jack and Jill and their vastly different experiences at the end of 2018 when equity indices posted their worst December since the Great Depression. While both Jack and Jill saw their portfolios bleeding, it was only Jack who got panicky and sold off his stocks. Jill, in contrast, sat tight. No, she didn't have superhuman willpower. She simply stuck to her barbell approach. Even when the market was tanking, the income end of her barbell portfolio continued to give her cash flow, and this helped her feel secure. And although the growth end of her barbell portfolio took a hit in the sell-off, U.S. technology and consumer discretionary stocks, for example, lost an average of 9% during the month, Jill wasn't phased. After all, she had chosen these sectors precisely because they benefit from long-term, irreversible trends, and a market correction wasn't going to change that. This willingness to sit tight paid off. In the following three months, the U.S. technology and consumer discretionary sectors not only clawed back all they had lost in December, they actually registered average gains of 17%, which made Jill very happy indeed. That's the genius of our barbell strategy. It gives investors the confidence they need to stay in the game for the recovery ahead. So don't be like Jack. Don't give in to panic and exit the market at the worst possible time. Instead, be like Jill. Keep calm and barbell on.